prepare for battle. All right, thanks, guys. We are here into the second game. We're going to see Vici move out immediately, but Grant, you heard them talk about the draft. You heard them talk about Lanham on that Undying, and it seems like these teams, SG and Vici, they really want to make this hero work, but they pick it again after a pretty disastrous game one. I mean, you saw how it worked, though, uh, in a, a 2v3 lane. The Undying in the two lane just bullies them so hard. It's such a good early game hero, but then it feels so weak in resolution. Now he's going to pop the smoke, and see you later. He's just going to run away. And a failed smoke by VG early, but look at the rest of the team kind of around here. Even No Tails get a run over this way. We might see a fight. Yeah, they're thinking about it. Paparazzi, they only saw Fenrir. That was the only smoke that was broken, but now maybe OG are going to move away. Good. Yeah, they're not going to worry about this. Maybe they can get some ice shards. They're not going to go for it with GRX. He thought about it for a moment there, I think. But uh, the early game, uh, I was looking at the early game should go about the same. VG definitely has the better supports to deal with the early game, but instead of an Earth Spear, you have a Tusk, so a lot more defensive, but can still be offensive if he wants to. Mm -hmm. And they just need to cut the casualties and get resolution, a ton of farm again, and then just maybe, maybe four or five man with the Viper, and then they should be fine. But if this Juggernaut can empower farm, you're going to see a, a, a pretty easy win from VG if they just don't stop him at all. S4 will take the rune. He might die for it, though. The Shackles will come out. They do have a skewer. They're going to pop it, and S4 will try for the TP. They have plenty of damage here with Fenrir, but it's not enough. He will be able to make it home. He gets the banner rune. He does have to use a TP, but that's still pretty great for OG, I think, at the beginning of the game. Yeah, and especially because Jerix is blocking the wave with Ice Shards, keeping him back, so Centaur might miss a little bit of the first wave but that's it that's nah, fine he'll be all right but uh i mean you talked about resolution getting farmed though and that is something they can really they can't really let happen again because it, he just got so much in that last game it was insane how farmed he was of course a lot of space being made there for his team and that's the problem undying is really good against like they're, look at they're just bullying no tail again it's really good in that one lane but an undying can't really just run middle and get a kill especially resolution went wand first you come over and spam decay it actually just helps storm spirit in the, the super early game and I don't even think this is that bad for the Viper, because uh, you can get corrosive skin, you'll be a bit tankier later on down the line, and you can, of course, just get last hits from range. So I think this is a bit better for No-Tail, perhaps, than it was last game when he was on the, the Faces Void. Yep, and they, they do put Eleven actually in the safe lane this time, try to get him a little bit more farm, but dual melee versus single melee, obviously, you're always going to be in a little better advantage in 2v1 lane. Yeah, exactly, and they want to get us for some farm. And Jerex will help out. He'll probably rotate at some point in the near future. But the Blade Fury down bottom. No tail. I spoke too soon. He's in trouble. He will fairy fire. Will not be enough to get, of course, him uh, self saved. And he will go down. Another decay to follow up on to fly. So that'll be first blood going the way of Vici. And they need that in this aggressive tri lane to make it work. Yep. That's it. All that they can just keep diving. Obviously, Undying so good in the early game. Taking off HP. Just tanking the tower with that stolen HP. That's all he really needs to do, and now it's just a 1v1 middle lane DP against Storm Spirit, and you'll see Ori probably get to spam out some Crypt Swarms and just build a Spirit Siphon, push him out of lane. Well, the, for now, though, he has four denies in resolution, and you talked about it yesterday, how important the denies are here in this skill-based mid matchup, so could yeah. be big for Rezo. It's just you have such a, a, a better attack animation, Storm versus DP. DP's animation is still so bad. Yeah, but when you get the Crypt Swarm levels, maybe things get easier for Ori, but for now... Level 2 Spirit Siphon, trying to get some last hits. He will get one with that Crypt Swarm. Uh, they rotate No-Tail top, by the way. So that one kill, he says, enough. I'll just go top lane, get plenty of farm. And uh, start already pressuring on 11 here. He throws up the Nether Toxin. This will help also get some last hits, too. And uh, now bottom lane, it looks like they're just going to leave Paparazzi here alone for now as they rotate mid. Alonim's running in, but again, this is there's no disables here, and Ori's not even in range for the Spirit Siphon, so Rezo's fine. Plus, he has a salve, a couple of tower hits on Alonim. Maybe they can get the Ice Shards. They have a Snowball. Not sure if they're going to go for it. Ori also taking damage. Now the Spirit Siphon comes in. Perhaps Rezo's too far up. They have Crypt Swarm, but he is going to salve, and he'll be fine, so... At the end of the day, Lanham just walks mid, can't really do anything. And like you said, like like Trent said, I think during the panel, if it feels like a spear breaker instead. Like that would have probably been a for sure kill there, but unfortunately, Undying, he's a good lane bully, but not a good roaming one. Yeah, exactly. And he's missing out on experience. So too is Jerax, but yeah, top lane. Top lane, they're going to make a go here. They've got the Shockwave, No Tail, might die again. Good skewer back. He does have a Salvin Wand charges, but he's in a lot of trouble. Still slowed up. And uh, he might be able to get the deny off. No, not in time. 11 gets the last auto attack. And that'll do it for Vici. Yep, and somehow, man, Jerex is level 3 after all this, and he's just been kind of moving around after top lane. They want to get a kill. It's so hard to get a kill in the Juggernaut, especially with, like, a Phoenix and a Tusk. It's almost impossible to lock him down, but middle. Yeah, they're going to find Rezo here. Maybe they can get the kill. This time he does have wand charges. The Soul Rip will come out and one more auto attack. 
lot of them at eight strength stolen. That's enough to help secure the kill. So now, Vici Gaming again, they're getting off to perhaps a quick start, but uh, still, OG still not in a bad position yet. Yeah, but VG, I mean, this is how you have to be with an, uh, an Undying as well as a Shadow Shaman. You just roam around, get those early kills, try to push towers with uh, an early Shadow Shaman 6. And, that's and they, they didn't do that too much. The Shadow Shaman didn't feel like he had that much of an impact pushing-wise. Good kills, but you, you want to push after that as well. I think it's going to be different this game because you have a Death Prophet. You have the Exorcism to work with and the threat of an RP2 once you get a Blank Dagger for your Magnus. So maybe pushing will be easier this game for Vici, I would assume, but... You never know. Yeah. They should be able to pressure two lanes at once. That's the whole thing. Like, Shadow Shaman, you don't really want him pushing with you in the early game. The top lane, no tail, goes down again, and he's just getting eaten alive by Fenrir. Yeah, that, that is not a good start for no tail. I think that's three deaths for him. A bit rough. He has boots. He's level three now, so he's pretty much the same as some of his uh, supports at this point. So no tail having a tough time. But Resolution, again, he's still farming well. He's up to 24 last hits. Yes, he's died once, but... Uh, you need to look out for him. Meanwhile, bottom S4 getting caught. The Blade Fury coming in. Paparazzi looking to spin him down. The Sorb is there. They have these spirits or the fire spirits coming in. That should be enough to keep him alive. Plus the Sal from S4. And Lonham now taking a lot of damage. There's the Icarus Dive coming back around his fly. No Sunray skilled up. S4 looking for a stomp. He's got actually double edge. Stomp back in one. Paparazzi's too speedy. Didn't have the Blade Fury, but S4 just couldn't quite catch up to him. And the Soul Rib comes out, so he's still pretty healthy and ready to go, but he will back himself away after trying to go for that kill on S4. You saw S4, he might have been able to push up and maybe get a kill there, but he's so nervous. He's missing 12 strength from all the decay. It's just so hard to fight like that. Yeah. Lanham is forced back, so no more decay spam for now. And uh, they will set up on mid for Fenrir, but I think he was spotted by this Observer Ward on the other side. He is now for sure. And that's the problem with a Viper, like with uh, a Void, even if you're under farm, you have that Chrono to help impact as a Viper. If you don't have any farm, I mean, that hero just feels so bad. So they definitely need to secure him a little bit of farm, but Paparazzi and Lanam just going to be all over him right now. I think he's about to die again if he's not careful. There's a Fenrir, or excuse me, Lanam is sitting down here. I think they might rotate Fenrir. Uh, he's going to back away. No Tail just needs to be play carefully here. He needs also some backup too. They, uh, Jerex. He was looking to get the bounty, but Lana will take it from him. Ooh, and such a good rune for resolution. He gets the haste rune before the DP can, and that almost guarantees he'll never get killed, and he has level 6. Yep. So does he make something happen, or does he just continue to farm in the jungle now for just, Rezo? You just have to farm as, as resolution. He's going for that. The, the new soul ring gives you a little extra HP, too, which is nice. Yeah, so he'll get some extra mana to work with, extra potential here as Ori now... Has no mana left. Jarek's coming in. The Ice Shards, the Ball Lightning. They're going to make something happen mid. They get the roll into the Icarus Dive. The Sun Rate's a lot of damage. They have the Spirit Siphon still coming in. He's so low. Finally, little drop down. Lonab's not there in time. He'll take some damage as well. But they will take down the Death Prophet. They rotate three heroes. They almost didn't get the kill. He had more Spirit Siphons to work with, but they get it done nonetheless. Yeah, that's almost the exact same start. It was 1-4 to four for OG last game, and they got that one kill on the middle here, and it just felt like it did so much. No tail even. Level 5 now actually beating out the Juggernaut in levels, which is a huge thing, because it felt like he's been doing, just getting no experience anywhere, but he really is. The good news for Vici for the Magnus is he's top in the CS right now. I believe also top of the net worth, in fact, by a wide margin. He actually has already got his Arcanes. He's got Raindrops, and he's working on his Blank Dagger. So, so far, so good for this Magnus. When you talked about him getting involved and him getting a lot of farm early, it looks like that's happening here. Yeah, and like a Doom, I mean, you just want to abuse your, your big your big cooldown on your level 6, get a, get a bunch of kills with it if you can, and push into towers. And we'll see if he can't find something. He hasn't scaled up RP yet. Which, of course, makes sense. They're not really fighting at this point. No Tail will rotate back home. They have uh, some heroes bottom setting up looking for a kill there, but they won't find it. And uh, Jerax will walk top. Level 8, 11. So Ice Shards will come in. They have Snowball as well. Tusk needs to be careful. 11 will just skewer himself out. Didn't want to get caught in that and get pushed under the tower for now. Yeah, S4. He has his ulti now. They have so much escape, right? You have the Snowball save, and then you have the ulti from S4 that can help out, as well as just the egg zoning him out. Feels like OG can play this a lot more defensive than they did last game, even if they want to. And just get resolution, some farm, get him in the game and ready to go. And he's still doing pretty well. Third in the net worth. Surprisingly enough, the Death Prophet's doing really well. Uh, second in the net worth, 3,100, 600 behind that of the Magnus. And bottom lane, it looks like there may be some action here in the near future if OG is not careful. Vici have four heroes down bottom. It looks like they thought about making something happen with Exorcism with Death Prophet, but he's just going to walk away and head back mid instead. 
Yep, and I love this. They, they know there's a bunch of heroes down here, so No-Till just throws out the level 3 Nether Toxin, pushes the wave out. That's pretty insane. It's like a 5-second cooldown, too. My god. This ability is pretty good, actually. Yep. BG, though. They're, they're fine. They're up 2k gold, a lot of it on the Magnetar, like you said. And they just need to start pushing towers with Ori. He already skilled his ultimate. Yeah, they, they they should get something going here in the next couple of moments. They don't have level 6 yet for Shadow Shaman. In fact, he's almost 5. They would like to have Serpent Wards to help get uh, like two towers pushed at once. But as of right now, he's leeching experience bottom with Paparazzi nearby. But here we go. I like this smoke gank here. They show two bottom because I think they expect OG has a ward in lane. They don't. But they do this smoke to try to go all the way around, and they should be able to at least pick off one kill here. They're already going on No-Tail. He's going to get hexed up. They have a lot of heroes coming in as well. No-Tail should fall, but the Stampede keeping him alive. The Sal will come through. The Icarus time. Are they all going to get out? No-Tail. He's got a TP scroll. Trying to work his way through. Pops another Toxin. There are four heroes here. He'll look for the TP out. He will make it away. There's no way they can stop it. They'll rotate all five heroes bottom. And yes, they might get the tower, but they cannot get a kill. They, they got Phoenix at the very beginning, but still they're going to lose out in middle lane, taking so much damage as well as top, so they have to use Glyph to secure both. And they're only going to be able to push this tier 1 really slowly bottom. Jerex is already doing a pretty good job with these ice shards, but with the healing ward up, might dissuade them from really doing anything here. They'll TP mid with Lanham, so he can't take the tower. The wave is pushing out top, though. As the Centaur is up there doing a good job of killing the creep wave. They will get bottom. They don't have to use Exorcism that. That's a pretty huge thing for Ori. They're yeah. jumping in mid, looking for Lanham. They've got the Icarus dive as well. He drops the Tombstone. Plenty of mana for resolution to work with. Should be able to get this kill. He will finally drop, and they won't go for the Tombstone. It's time to just leave. Fly trying to go for the TP. Might be able to make it away. The Crypt Swarm, not enough damage. The Tombstone zombies can't do it as well. And Rezo working on this tower, now walking up onto Ori. Needs to be careful. The Spirit Siphon coming out. He's got Wand Charges. A little bit of mana left. He does have a Soul Ring back up now. Just came off cooldown, and he's fine. Yep, and this tower will get denied, unfortunately. Ooh, getting low. Good Viper Strike on Defender. He might survive. Eleven doesn't have a skewer to work with. No RP. He just used it, but the Shockwave will get the kill, and no tail. Can't turn it around in time. Yep. Feels a lot like uh, last game with Eleven doing so much on the map for him, but he has a, a lot more impactful hero this game. Doom can only get like so far and can only do so much. Magnus, on the other hand, with farm, can just accomplish so much more than a Doom. And it's scary, too, because he's right around the corner from that Blank Dagger. Yeah, he is. I mean, if you get one, instead of just dooming one here, you could get two in that RP, just get the ghosts off. It's so much more team fight, honestly, from VG this game as well. You got to be really careful if you're OG, and uh, they need some more farm too. They're working on their blink tag of their own, and in fact, Centaur is pretty close too, so good news there for S4. But uh, Viper, of course, still a little bit behind for No Tail. Yep, they have a lot of levels on OG, which is good, but VG still definitely has the farm lead, and once they get that blink on Magnus. It's, it's going to be hard because, I mean, Centaur doesn't really save you with his ult when you're permanently stunned up. It's going to be Jerix's timing, and we might see him go for a blink after this urn just for the, the blink save RP. The blink save is so huge in this game, and we've seen it before from players like Jerix. And there's the blink for the Magnus, and I think they'll make something happen here in the next couple of moments. I think they should have a smoke. They don't actually have one on them yet, but I would imagine they'll bring it out soon. In the meantime... They're going to move top together as a team, but so will OG. Smoke will break. They'll find Lana. They're going to go on him. It looks like ball lightning in. Here's the extra. Some good silence on to do the shackles as well. Tusk in trouble. The supernova coming out. Good stun coming in from S4. They're going to take two. The Viper Strike comes out. The stun will hit on Paparazzi as well. Trying to deal with the tombstone. They will bring it down. Jump in from resolution. Paparazzi going to go for the spin TP, and he will make it out. A two for one trade. 11 deciding not to go in. He doesn't have RP up, so they can't counter initiate. They're still looking further. Fenris under the tower. The Dive, they won't spot him, but they should get this tier one in the top lane. Yeah, that's why Phoenix feels so good in this game because they first picked uh, Undying as well as Shadow Shaman. So you have two supports who can't deal with the egg at all. And like, you didn't even have to get Fire Spirits on anyone. You just go in, get the egg, and zone everyone out. Yeah. And they will. They lost Jerex, I think, in that fight. That was it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, not a bad trade. And uh, the I think S4 revealed his blink in that fight with that double stomp. So, yeah, super worth to get those kills. Really good timing coming in from OG, but again, they still have to deal with this Magnus RP, which is now up. Exorcism was used in that fight. Meanwhile, Ice Shards, Lana might be in trouble. Decay coming out. They won't go further. They don't have the storm to continue to chase. And they finally get the Tier 1 tower top lane. Yep, that's the biggest thing. They don't have too much burst damage without resolution, so when it's just the 3, S4, and the 2 supports, they, they can't do much except just defend a tower. And even bottom lane, we're going to start seeing the Empower farming on Paparazzi kick in. And during the Major, we saw a lot of that just 
and power the jug, come back from a 15k deficit and win, and they're up right now. They're just going to go farther up if he keeps that up. Yeah, I mean, now with the Serpent Wards too, they're going to take more towers. They should be able to get a lot more map control here for VG in the next few modes. They're already pushing in this bottom lane, trying to get to the Tier 2. And we'll see if they drop wards here. They're thinking about it, and it looks like they will. And there it goes. So now already this tower in trouble here in the bottom lane. They will pop Glyph, but uh, we'll see if they can trade here for OG. No level 10, man. He, he rotated lanes three times and still able to pick up level 10. Feels so good. But yeah. they will lose that Tier 2 bottom, unfortunately, which is rough. It, they lose control to their own jungle, which means Juggernaut can just farm even more. Maybe but they wait, can get back a door Yeah, backdoor protection's kicking in. The stomp comes out. They'll find one as Fenrir dropped down, and they'll clear out these Serpent Wards. Maybe get a deny as well. It's going to be close, and they do get the deny off by Tusk getting it done. Nicely done coming out, and Resolution made some space top two. They uh, started going out of here, and he's able to back himself up with the ball of lightning and get out of trouble. That's extremely good. They do still lose the towers, so at least VG can take control of this jungle. You see they already have a ward down, but limiting the amount of gold they get is very good. All right, so you've got the Yule Scepter now on the Death Prophet. You've taken a few towers. Exorcism is back up. RP is up. Do VG need to make a move here in the next few moments? Well, actually, hold that thought. They're going to get moved on as Lanham's going to get stomped up and brought down. Resolution balls in, but he's not even needed as they blow him away with Fly. Wow, just really good movements on the map from OG again. VG gets those early kills, but already you just feel the, the not impact of an undying. They're trying to make this hero work, but meanwhile, bottom, no tail, Viper Strike, he is in trouble, Spirit Siphon. The Skewer will miss, they have the Stampede, but there's the Yule Scepter, which will stop him in his tracks. He'll try to fight, more Spirit Siphons coming out, no tail, he does have the heal from the talent, the level 10 spell lifesteal, it's not enough. He'll continue to drop it down, he's alive somehow, Crypt Swarm though will take him down in the meantime, or he just snipes him at the end of it, very close, but... Stampede not able to save him this time. Got that 8% healing him so much. 8% seems like so little, but keeps him alive. Yeah, just barely. Fortunately, he does die, and uh, that's the problem with Viper. You don't have an escape mechanism. You still want to farm up as much as you can, because you don't have a flash farm escape mechanism. You just right-click creeps. Fortunately, pushed too far out. Yeah, he's a little behind. He does a, I think he just finished his veil. Yeah, there it is. It's done. He's got it on him right now. Which is an interesting item just when you think about it from a Viper, right? That's not something you would have seen last patch. Yeah, then we saw it uh, come out yesterday a lot on Liquid as well. And I mean, it's very good with Phoenix because Phoenix isn't going to be able to farm it up. So yeah. you have it now for yourself as well as for the Phoenix. I wonder if that was his first item choice. Would he have gone that if he was ahead? You know what I mean? I, I think so. I think we just saw it last game. I mean, the Nether Toxin is actually so good. Yeah. 50 damage a second. It's pretty insane, actually. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think we'll see a, at least a cooldown. Nerf onto it later, five seconds. It's, yeah, it's a little low. It's it's crazily low. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he's just able to spam out these waves and fights as well. It's pretty rough. So for now, he'll continue to farm. He keeps these waves pushed out pretty quickly. And uh, well, Vici Gaming, they have a slight advantage. Just 1K. Again, we saw last game they had a slight advantage. They they pretty much won the early game, but when it got to that mid to late game situation, Resolution got farmed, and it looks like that might happen again here for OG. Rezo, he is just trying to farm up that Bloodstone. Yeah. Change with the Perseverance. He's almost there. He has Arcane, so he just needs the Vitality Booster, and then he'll be ready to go. It's about 200 gold away. If they do have to be away. nervous, so Juggernaut is about to hit level 12, has a Yashi. He's going to have that full Manta plus in power, so he has plenty of damage. They just... They, they need to try stopping this Juggernaut's farm by either invading the jungle, but you see, look at those, the Sentry Wards by Dire, just making sure they have vision of their own side. Yeah, there's no vision there for OG. They have one kind of shallow into the jungle up in this area, but uh, that's pretty much it. I don't know if they have any other vision. They have their own jungle warded up pretty well, but that's about it. But OG will make a smoke play here for now. They'll move together with three, and Resolution just picks up his Bloodstone as well, but uh, can they find anything? They're going to sit Resolution top hill push, and it looks like they're going to sit behind him and uh, try to make something happen here. I mean, on the other side, just and power farm with Juggernaut. He gets to level 12 now. They're going to try to do the smoke gank of their own. Yeah. They only have vision onto the Viper because they had that middle ward. But now he's running top. Oh, he's going back around. He might run uh -oh. straight into him. Yeah, this could be a problem. He's going to try to farm this sub. Uh, I think No Tail is in trouble here. He's actually moving kind of far away. Here comes the Magnus looking to jump in. 
And I think they're going to find No-Tail here. With a Shadow Blade. The Skewer back, it will find it, and the Omni Slash comes through, and they're going to blow No-Tail away. They drop him quickly, and the Serpent Ward's at the Tier 1 tower on top of it. In the meantime, Resolution continues to split push top and try to work on that tower. As Force coming back in, they have a couple of heroes rotating, but this Tier 1 should fall in the mid lane for Vici. Yep, that's a smart play. I mean, they're like, oh, why, why would Juggernaut just use his ultimate so people can't TP in? I mean, they know they have a Tusk, they know they have a Phoenix, plenty of save, just blow him up as quickly as you can. Yeah. So Viper again dies, but uh, still making space for Resolution. They will lose their Tier 1 tower to 3k lead now for, for VG Gaming. What other items are being built besides, like, the Veil that we just saw? We have the Shadow Blade from Eleven. I think he had in that yep. fight. He just had it. Oh, Stampede. Here we go. They're Top making lane. it go on top lane here. Stomp comes out. Good Blade Fury just in time. S4 now has to work on Lonham. He's in trouble. The Shackles will come through. Here's the Icarus dive as well. The oh. Supernova. It's right in the middle of everything. Now the Ball Lightning. He'll stay alive. The Supernova. It doesn't get off. It was so close. And now the RP. Turn around. Three. On to three. They're going to get caught. And they have a double kill already for 11. The Deny comes in from Resolution. And a killing spree taken away from S4. Four will go down. Vici game with a perfect counter initiation there. Yeah, but that's what they were talking about on the panel. The Magnus isn't the best initiation, but perfect counter initiation hits on three of them, and they just clean up that fight so easily. If that egg got off, could have been a different thing, but nice, nice aiming by the dire side. And Fly went right in. The rest of this team was behind waiting to go, but they just needed one more second there, and perhaps that egg gets off. Yeah, I, think, I think Fly thought he... Uh, he hit the Juggernaut with a Spirit, but unfortunately he didn't, and the Juggernaut's the I mean, highest attack speed just ate that egg alive. So what was a, like, 3k advantage now jumps up to about 5 to 6k, and Resolution, he just got that Bloodstone. He had to use his Deny. Now all down to 9 charges, now working on an Orchid, and Resolution might get skewered back. 11, just missing. So we'll see if they back up here or if Vici continue on. And we see the power, just 11 in that first game as Doom did so well now. He has so much farm, almost level 16 at 20 minutes in on a Magnus. He was in the safe lane, and he played it really well. He didn't have eggs as well. Yep. That's pretty nice. Well, for now, we'll see what moves OG decide to make. No Tail still trying to catch back up. Resolution, we just talked about him. Um... And they didn't even use Exorcism in the fight, which is the crazy thing, right? And he's going to have BKB soon as well on the Death Prophet, so they could start getting perhaps a bit more aggressive here for Vici. Yeah, you're going to be extremely hard to take him down with that new Nether Toxin on Viper. He doesn't do that much damage to anyone who has magic immunity, though. Yep, one big change. And now Paparazzi is just going to farm so quickly with Empower. Yeah, he's going to work on his Diffusal Blade. Manta already didn't like you mentioned. Level 14 now. And, uh... Maybe OG congregating together, thinking about smoking. They have one on Jerax, so we'll see what moves they make here as Resolution will just farm bottom. I mean, it's nice having your Storm farm, but unfortunately when that BKB does come up on the Death Prophet, they will have absolutely nothing to deal with it at all. And that's why it's such a good item choice. It's, don't see much uh, second item BKB on Death Prophet. No, not usually. But it'll work out pretty well, I have a feeling. He's, uh, he's going to be pretty tanky, pretty tough to deal with because of the Yules as well. And uh, they got to figure out a way to deal with him, not only him, but the Jug and the Magnus as well. And we see OG grouping up, and that's what they have to do. They have to group up and they have to get kills, because this Juggernaut's always going to find farm as well as his Death Prophet. And, I mean, even Magnus, he can just farm by himself right now. Yeah, they're feeling pretty confident. Vici, RP is up again. They've got every single ultimate. In fact, both teams have all ultimates ready to go. OG trying to split up the map, split push as best as possible. Resolution doing a good job of that all over the map, working on his Orchid. Getting very close, in fact. Only needs one more Oblivion Staff in the recipe. But there's that Diffusal Blade, so now the Jug is going to do some serious damage. And like you mentioned, he already farms pretty quickly. Yep, now he can farm farm heroes just as quickly. They're going to try to push in top. VG knows something's up. They're like, there's no way this guy would be pushing top alone. They are sitting together. VG will make the move. They're going to head in two different directions. It looks like they'll just go straight towards Roche for now, or over in that vicinity anyway. And OG are sitting in a pretty defensive position here themselves, kind of on the high ground. Jerex can spot a couple of heroes out if they walk close. Yep, they're sitting right on those sentry wards like we saw last game when they had the, the sentry wards down. But look at this, they're just going to go for an extremely quick Roche. And yeah, they pop Exorcism 4 too. This is going to fall immensely fast. They even pop the Flesh Golem. 
Yep. Smart. Just use all your cooldowns. You don't need to fight after you take this Roshan. I mean, you Ice have the shards. Late game. Do they want to go for a steal? The snowball coming in. It might be at the perfect time. Jack snatches it. Perfectly done. But this is still a rough fight. They're all so low. Three dead. While it was a great steal, it's not going to be enough. Lonham's oh. getting low. Jerax is going to be done. They skewer him back in. It's going to be all five dead from OG. And as good as that was, as cool as that was from Jerax, that is every single hero down from OG. But as OG, you, I mean, you have to go for that. You know you don't have the late game secured. They're already to, like, the 25-minute mark, and this juggernaut's just been free farming all game. And it was a good choice to go in, but unfortunately they might have been too far behind already. Yeah. V VG just played their heroes perfectly this game, especially uh, Young 11 again. Yeah, he in the offlane has done a great job, and this game he's able to get a couple of big RPs get ahead, give his Jug and power, and go from there. They do take the Tier 2 tower. They can't push high ground. The death timer is still a little bit too low for OG at this point. So Vici Gaming decided not to go high ground, decided not to do anything too crazy. They'll probably work on the Tier 2 tower top lane in the next few minutes. They didn't get the Aegis. That's the one downside for Vici Gaming. It's not that big of an issue when you think about what they gained instead, but it might slow their push down just a little bit as they wait for the Exorcism and Serpent Wars to come off cooldown. Yeah, definitely, I don't think they'll push too early, but I mean, they're in no need of it. Death Prophet only gets stronger, Juggernaut only gets stronger. They, they have nothing to counter these these BKBs. Well, they're going to have Boots of Travel on No-Tail. Is this just strictly for split pushing and ratting at this point? or That's what it feels like, just moving around the map, trying to make something happen. Split up VG as much as they can and maybe get a pick off with the other four heroes. Thinking about getting a pick. Top. Yeah. He uh, he might be in some trouble potentially. They have paparazzi running in. No tail. He's just gonna head into the tree line. He knows something's up. I think. Yeah, he's gonna back up. It looks like. So he'll be fine. Meanwhile, bottom lane, the hex came out. They have the stampede, which will keep resolution alive. He was able to ball lightning beforehand, I believe. So. Oh, young eleven actually finds no tail top. Yeah. Skewer out. They've got the omni slash. I believe the manta will come out. Nether Toxin going, the Viper Strike is there as well. They have the Sun ready to heal him up, looking for Young Eleven. He's going to go for the TP. S4 is just a half second too late. The Ice Shard's not there as well. And the Blade Fury TP coming out from the Jugs. They can't even find a pick, and they have some good counter initiation from OG. That's just that's a good ward in lane. Fenrir saw the, the ward he placed down. They saw three people TPing in, or else they might have overcommitted for that kill. Yeah. So extremely good warding coming up from Dire. They're just not making those mistakes. There's only six kills for OG this game. They're just not getting caught, it seems like. Yep, they're not. It doesn't feel like Jarek, you know, he got the Aegis, but it doesn't feel like he has many saves. It's so hard to get in close and get any of those saves he can. And he's still working on that Blink Tagger. That's the big item you talked about to help get those saves, and he just hasn't been able to get there. In the meantime, Vici are moving into the jungle. They've picked up an Aghanim Scepter for the Magnus. They're ready to go. They're ready to, to do some work, so... Yep. OG needs, they, they need a smoke gank, but it's it, it's so hard. There's nowhere they can really go with the smoke. They're stuck inside their base. You see Dyer's warding just all over the map. And I mean, even if they find someone, if they find a death prop, just pops up that Black King bar and the rest of his team will be right behind him. Yeah. It's tough to make any moves right now for OG. And you could just take control of the entire map if you're reaching. And all you can kind of do for OG is just split push as best as possible. Get this wave pushed out top lane. This tower is pretty low at the least, so they get this tier 2. Maybe they could start pressuring the tier 3 tower and somehow get back in this game. I will say it's a 10k lead. It could be a lot worse. It's like plateaued the past few minutes. Yep. So at least OG are sort of stopping the bleeding, but they're already so far behind right now. The only problem, again, is it's exactly like last game. All their farms on a Storm Spirit, which is, is not as good as it being on a Medusa. Right. Storm, he can do some work, but it's going to be tough to 1v5 and almost impossible in this game. So, Resolution will just continue to sit in the trees, get some vision, and then jump out. Yep, Scimitar in trouble middle, though. Yeah, he has to pop the Stampede, and he will not stay alive. Paparazzi gets the jumps he needs for the Ombi Slash. Meme on top lane, or he pops the Spirit Siphon. He's going to go for a TP, but the Yule Scepter is there, and Rezo is in trouble. He's going to try to ball lightning away. He's about half mana at this point. Spirit Siphon's still going. They're still chasing him down. They'll drop the Veil. The Silence comes in too, and that means he'll probably fall here. They need a couple of auto techs and a Crypt Swarm, which will do the job. And Rezo can't get the Ball Lightning off in time, and they will find the biggest kill they could. It's 48 seconds with Rezo on the sideline. Yep, this will at least be a Tier 2 top, if not possibly more. Obviously, Exorcism's down, but you have an Empowered Juggernaut. You don't need it. Absolutely not. They're feeling pretty good. Plus, they also have Seraphim Wars too, which they won't need either. They can maybe go high ground here. We'll see. 
If they, they do, they will have ghosts up shortly when he gets the mana. Still about a hundred away. With Ten mana a second. I'll, I'll do the math. <laughs> All right. It's soon. It's gonna be up soon. They're gonna have it. But looking for the skewer first is eleven. Now they might back up. They have the eggs. The shockwave comes back in. Eleven might be in trouble. He's gonna just take the full sunray and the viper strike. Good stomp onto two. The double edge. A great start to the fight. They still don't have the storm for five seconds. Paparazzi. He's going to try for the Blade Fury. He will go for a TP. Maybe they have the Stampede Ori. He's in trouble. The Nether Toxic going. The Glimmer Cape's in. Resolution looking for Fenrir on the back lines. He's going to find him, and Fenrir should fall. It's two down. Can they get Lanham? Three would be great, but they've only gotten the Magnus in terms of cores. Lanham very tanky. He's going to try for the TP. He might actually make it. They're looking for more elsewhere up towards the north of the map. They're trying to chase down Ori. Ball Lightning across the way. Resolution, I think he just missed him in terms of vision, and he won't be able to find him. Adam Ori, they're chasing the exorcism. He's at the shrine. They just don't have the mana for resolution, though. And they will only get two kills out of that somehow for OG. Yeah, that's rough. Tower almost drops top. They maybe overcommitted for it a little bit, VG. But they just back out. Like you said, only lose two heroes that don't really mean that much to him. Obviously, 11's worth a lot of gold, and he does have the agonims now. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, they didn't do the math on the, the Death Prophet, I think. The exorcism only came up a, a little bit too late there, so... Yeah. This is uh, such a, a weird Aghanims on Magnus. It used to be like the Empower AoE, and now, yep. it's, now it's Shockwave. Like, <laughs> it's it, very strange. Uh, I don't know. It, it seems like it's just not that good, but they're up a lot, so eh, might as well go for it. Increases travel distance and speed and causes Shockwave to come back, and then it slows. But when it returns, it deals half damage creep, so I don't even know. It's just, very, it's just a, a very different Aghanims. I guess look, it keeps the waves pushed out. Here comes Young Eleven. He's hasted and Shadow Blade. He knows where No Tail's at. He uh, might go with the skewer back. And no Tail is dead. He's going to go Scepter, but uh, even with the defusal changes, they're still going to find the skill for No Tail. He's going to get hexed up. This has been a rough game for him in that safe lane on the Viper. And uh, he will fall down for 50 seconds. And now, Vici, it looks like they may have to deal with the wave coming in top. Ori is here. S4 staying a bit long. Maybe they can go for him here. He has Stampede and Blink. He is going to not deal with the Siege Crypts. He's just going to back himself away. So the good news is they're losing all these heroes for OG, but actually well, they're like kind of getting the gold lead back in their in their favor. I mean, yeah, they're still down 9k, but again, it could be so much worse at this point. Yeah, it could be, but it, it's still just all the farms coming in on resolution. He's just not a physical DPS or until way late in the game when you have right. like Bloodthorn. So he'll be farmed, but what can he actually do besides kill the supports off? It feels like they need that like big initiation from, from S4 and Jerax. Yep. I mean, obviously, well, if Storm say gets the eggs, the Bloodthorn. I mean, you get some of those AOE pulls with an egg. There's definitely ways to win this game. They just have to make it that far. Yeah. And that's gonna be hard against the uh, Octarine Death Prophet in about 10 seconds here. And, and the Scotty was just picked up on the Jug too. This is where you would think, okay, Roche is up now, or not, not yet actually. It's gonna be in two minutes. But Roche is up in two minutes. We have our Exorcism, we have our Death Prophet with plenty of items, we have our Jug, we have our Serpent Wards. I'm assuming if they can get Roche, they're going to make something happen and just finish off the game in the next five minutes, one would assume. Yep, that seems to be what their, their plan wants to be, and they're going to go for a Smoke Ink here. They think Roche might be up, they haven't scouted it out yet, so they might look for that and then go for a gank after they see it's not up. Yeah, and that's going to be... Well, they might run into the rest of OG, actually, as OG's pretty close by. Rezo's going to jump in. He might... Ooh, the silence just misses, but Paparazzi looking for Fly. Icarus dive away. They're going to try to find a target here. Stampede is used defensively, and they will survive. So OG don't lose anything there, but they use Stampede. And now Lannan's like, oh, we'll check Roche. Not up yet, so they know it'll be a late spawn. And Young Eleven will just continue farming. Man. Paparazzi, like you mentioned in the beginning of the game, once you thought about, you know, okay, you've got the Empower, he's going to have some items. He, he did farm really well. He's up to 19,000, almost 20,000 net worth. They're going to have a double damage rune as well for when Roche respawns, which is in a minute. He's just sitting there waiting, and I don't blame him. They've got plenty of time, two minutes before the next rune comes out, so they could just chill around this rune. Yeah, but I do like Viper is going, uh, obviously with that Veil, he's going for his Aghanims now. That goes through the, uh, the spin of Jug, not the damage, but the slow. Just kite him around and see what you can do in a fight. Yeah. It's going to be all about who Fly hits with his, his spirits. Like if he gets some good Fire Spirits off and a good Ag, it, it could change everything. If he just misses even the Juggernaut once again, then it's a problem. Yeah, this Viper Strike, though, you're right. This could be a good item. He's he's a little ways away. Meanwhile, the jump in Paparazzi, they take the Tier 3 Tower. They'll drop the Serpent Wards. The Glyph will come out. 
They, it looks like no will just clean this up. Maybe not. They've got the Exorcism coming in. This is a bit dangerous here. Vici really committing. Stop the BKB from Ori. Jumping in the back lines. There's the Glimmer Cape. The pull is going to come through. They've got the Sorb. The Icarus Dive. Not there yet. It looks like they might catch out Resolution. He's going to fall dead for 60. He's got buyback. That's a huge kill for Vici. And they're about to take this Rax as well. Viper Strike coming in S4. Getting kited around as well. No Tails in trouble. He's out in the front lines. He'll pop the Ghost after which will keep him alive. The Blade Fury will spin him down, though. He's done. A full set of Rax gone. They have to buy back on two heroes. And they need to take this fight. They need to get something out of this for OG. But they've already lost the Rax. RP about to go from Young Eleven. Hasn't used it yet. Now the Viper Strike coming in on Delonim. Continues to decay. Now the Omni, I think, no. Just some Manta Illusion is going to work on No-Tail. Stomp coming in. They're looking for 11. He's pretty low resolution. He'll help get the kill. They've got the Sunray as well. That'll bring down another. And two more are trying to get out. Fenrir as well as Paparazzi. There's a good Supernova. They've got Vision of Paparazzi. He's got the Glimmer Cape now. He's silenced up as well. The Urn, they're chasing him down. They really want this kill. He's in the tree line. Jerak still chasing that Manta style. He's going to go for the spin. Rezo still chasing. He's low on mana. He's got only six Bloodstone charges. Good Ice Shards from Jerak. The Walrus Punch as well. Finally, they'll bring him down. They won't get Ori. They will lose a full set of racks. They have to buy back on two, but at least they kill four heroes out of it. If they do end up winning that fight, but Resolution just dove in, got silenced so nicely by the DP, and they just they can't do anything against the magic community of VG right now. They're going for Roche, though. If they can pick this off, we might see a buyback from Paparazzi. They're going to buy back on 11 instead. first. 55 seconds without the Jug. They're taking this rather quickly. They have the armor reduction with the Medallion. Now Shadow Shaman buying back. He doesn't have Serpent Wards for 15 seconds. Ori, 6 seconds for his Exorcism. They're all buying back. OG need to back away. They're going to Stampede. Resolution on the high ground. They're thinking about fighting this. This is very dangerous. Ori's BKB is ready to go. They've got the Silence. They've got the Skewer back. He, this could be a dieback for Resolution, and it is. Dead for 72 seconds. And with that, they will head into the Roche Pit and take it along with perhaps the game. I love VG. Like, they weren't really pressured or forced. Like, they weren't that scared, but they realized if they get a Roche, this could bring OG back into it. And they didn't really have to buy back. They just do it instead. Now they'll get Roche in. And, I mean, they didn't even expect to get Resolution. That's just a cherry on top. Yeah, that's huge. If they could have won a fight there, it would have been everybody pretty oh, much no buyback. Jerex is going to get caught. Skewered back. The Walrus Punch won't save you this time. And he will be dead. He does have buyback, but it's another kill going the way of Vici. And uh, this will be a tough defense. 36 seconds without resolution. I don't believe they have Glyph either. It's still down for another two minutes. Yep. It's getting rough. I love the, the little things Paparazzi when, like, they're, they're ghost sceptered up and he was still hitting the racks while he was blade spinning, hitting the hero with the blade spin while hitting the racks. Yeah. This guy's a pretty good player. He's been playing really well this game. They do get the four stomp into Ori. The summary will come out there. It's the Viper Strike RP on just to one. It looks like no, on to two. They're still in trouble. The Omni Slash is coming through. They're looking for more. They have the Icarus Dive Supernova, but it's too late. They'll lose S4. They'll try to bring down the Sun, and they will. No Tail already low. He's dropped down, dead for 93. And they'll lose another. It's going to be Jarek's falling yet again. One alive, now two, but it looks like this should be GG. And Vici are about to force game three. Yep, and it just felt like the, the draft was a lot better and OG just didn't have didn't have the physical DPS to deal with any of the push from from uh, VG. And when they got ahead, they really got ahead. Resolution just could not quite carry the game the same as last time, and I don't blame this is a tough team to play up against. VG gaming really sticking it out. Finally we have a win for Undying, it looks like. You know, win. It didn't feel like he, he even did that much in the early game. It felt like the the Rasta did a lot better roaming around than Magnetar. I mean Magnus won his lane. Then obviously you just give Jug and power the rest of the game, and even if he falls behind in farming, he's he'll always find farm. Yeah, paparazzi, plenty of net worth this game, kind of like Resolution last game. Really well played from Vici Gaming, forcing that third game. Overall, solid play all around. Tough landing phase perhaps for OG. They couldn't quite get back into it, but it is going to be a third game. And uh, what do you expect out of this next game here, Grant? I don't know. Definitely a little bit different draft. Like OG was all in on one sort of damage, and then... Vici Gaming just itemized properly, so we're probably just completely different drafts from both teams, honestly. And maybe we'll see Undying again. I don't think it's a bannable hero, but it does feel very good in lanes. I mean, you can win these 2v3 lanes extremely well. I think they just need a they need to lock down Paparazzi, get better warding up, because, I mean, the Juggernaut just farmed the jungle. There, there was no warding, because so many sentries came out from VG. Yeah, really good uh, ward control, some vision control from VG Gaming. But with that, that'll do it for game number two. Game number three is going to be right around the corner. Now, remember, of course, down in the lower bracket, it is a best of one. So you need to be careful. One game away from moving on for one of these teams, one team will go down to that lower bracket. We'll find out who it's going to be after the break. Stick around.